D45 Tech Talk and the Smart Border Revolution Google Plus community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is on the Interactive Hundreds chart that you find in the gallery. So you go to the Gallery tab, and it makes sure you have the Gallery's Essentials loaded. And if you type in Hundreds, Enter, then down below here in the interactive and multimedia is where you have it. To put it on your notebook page, either double click or drag it to the page. Now, by default, the size is, in my opinion, way too big. It doesn't fit on the page without having to scroll all the way. So I resize it. Now, these flash files. To, you can't just click on them because they're interactive. You have to marquee select. So you click outside of it and drag that box around it. And notice how when you get more than halfway, you get the blue dotted line around it. That means it's now selected. Then in the bottom right corner is the resize handle. So I drag that up, resize it a little bit until it fits pretty much except for that blank area at the bottom on one page without having to scroll. And it would stink to have to redo that every time. So after you resize it, drag it and put it in my content in the gallery and then it will always be that same size. So you select it again. So you have the dotted line. You have to grab the blue bar to move it. So you'll scroll down, grab that bar, drag it to the gallery tab and hold the button down and then go at the top, my content, drop it and then it shows up in my content under interactive and multimedia. When you put it on a, when you go to a new page and you drag it out or double click on it, it will be the resized size. So now you always have it that size. So sometimes you want your hundred square to start at one. Sometimes you want it to start at zero. So at the bottom here, this checkbox for zero based, make it start at zero. The tens are on the left. Sometimes you need that, sometimes you don't. Now you can use the pen and tap a square to make it a different color. So you can either pick up the different pens or using the same pen, just tap the buttons up at the top. If you already have it one color, you can tap a different color and then tap it twice to change the color. The reset button at the bottom will always set it back to the default state with the gray numbers. Another thing you can do is use the eraser and tap a square to erase the number so at younger grades for counting and then to put the number back in you just tap the square with a pen I forgot to do that in the video and of course reset it with the reset button play multiples of you can put in a number and it will automatically change all the squares that are multiples of that number to a different color. This is good for talking about multiples, for skip counting, for common multiples. Now using the technique of using a different color, maybe we want to talk about common multiples of four and six. So we can say that the multiples of four will be in red and multiples of six will be in green. Then we can make the common multiples in blue. So we grab the green pen or we tap the green and we start counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Tap it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that one's red already, so we make it blue. One, two, three, right? And you just keep going through that way. Having the students come up, counting the next six, deciding whether it should be green or blue. Right? And then you start looking for patterns and maybe ask the question, so do we see a pattern? And they may figure out that, hmm, the both 
come every 12. So then you start counting every 12 and you see and look for other patterns. Do you see patterns with the sixes? So there's a great way to look at concepts like this because you've got the color, change the color, have students predicting, a lot of good things you can do with this. This is a great tool for teaching multiplication, teaching skip counting. You can have the students counting one, two, three, four, five, six, and tapping the color, changing it. Use it to teach a missing factor. So you put all of the multiples up to a certain product, and then you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many threes were there? Eight. Or three times eight equals 24. Kids usually don't have trouble counting by tens, but what if you start at a different number? So you turn the four red and then you count ten and you change them green. So we end up on number ten, we're on fourteen. Go back to red and now we'll count ten more and make those red. And there's twenty-four. And keep going back and forth and then they'll start seeing the pattern. Right? So which one's going to come next do you think? Which one after that? Right? And keep the pattern going. Help them see the pattern for counting by tens starting at any number. So I'm sure you see how useful a tool this is. Get it out of your gallery. Get it resized into my content and start using it. The benefits for learning number sense are incredible with this tool.